It is 621. Look at those big crowds that awaited the highly anticipated iPhone 10. It got the highest sticker price of any iPhone ever, $999. All right, so the big question, does it live up to all the hype and the very steep price tag? <laughs> Shelly Palmer is here. I want to know everything. So, well, so first you're and foremost, I'm holding my iPhone 10 in front of my iPhone 7 Plus, and honestly it fits inside of it wow so that's a, that's a big well bonus. what's impressive is that you can't one hand the, the 7 plus mm -hmm. but you can and one hand the 10 and so that's a big deal they've actually taken a quarter inch off they made it a quarter inch thinner right I mean forget about the thinness this way it's the thinness this way so you can actually one hand the phone if they did nothing else you'd think that was awesome a screen <laughs> this big that you can one hand so that's the good news it's got a bunch of new toys and tricks faster processor right. better pictures you know all the things you hope that it would do um, the face recognition does work, shouldn't okay. scare you. It actually works better than the Touch ID. Mm -hmm. um, I've had some situations where it, the Touch ID was susceptible to salty snacks um, or the, um, let's just say the moisture from the adult frosty beverage containers that I was <laughs> right, holding right, right. with the yes. salty snacks <laughs> and then the Touch ID wouldn't work. Would work yeah. But in this case, you just look at it and it's open. It's and, pretty amazing. And it works in the dark. How long does it take to, for the facial recognition? You it, just it takes less time to train it for face recognition than it did for touch ID you look at it a couple times up and down and you're yeah. all good the um, there's no, really no downside to the face ID people are scared of it you shouldn't be it's more secure in many ways than the touch ID was and the touch ID was pretty secure all right so. but for 999 there are a lot of people that are out there now talking about how it's breakable like if you drop it you know they've yeah. tested it the, the glass is going to shatter 999 all contraire young lady <laughs> It's 1149 for the 256 yeah. gigabyte version plus Apple Care plus a case plus tax True. and then you got to buy a data plan. So is it breakable? This is hand in, <laughs> this is 1500 in your oh this is 1500 in your hand to use and uh, yeah if you drop it the back is glass the front is glass a little bit of steel on the side it's going to break. It's so going to break. I would suggest purchasing at least minimally the case. The case. Yeah. Yes. Which I'm putting this right back in right now since yeah. I've now shown it to you. All right, yeah. lots of other changes too. No home button for everybody who, no, and who by subscribes the way, to Apple. And the home button thing people got all you know crazy it mm -hmm. takes you under an hour to understand how to do it. You, you swipe up to change stuff. You can swipe to change apps. It's a, you, you actually, after you look at it, I'm going to just look at the phone right now mm -hmm. to tap it. And you look at it, it'll, it'll open. You swipe up to open the phone, All which right. is weird. You have to come down from this notch for the control center. There's a few things you have to do, but it's not, not going to make you crazy. If you want an iPhone, this you ain't going to kill you. Okay. And I always I like the wireless charging, and a lot of people are saying we were talking about two religions: the religion of Apple yes. and the religion of Android. It's true. And a lot yeah. of Android users are going, what, everything that's happened here has happened on has Android. happened on Android. So look, if you're an Android person, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, probably the best phone ever made in Android, Google Pixel 2, spectacular phone. You're going to wonder what is everybody in Apple land yeah. all excited about? Because we've had these features for a long time. Mm -hmm. If you're an Apple person, you have been longing for things like wireless charging. Uh, right. waterproof face recognition yes. better portrait mode in the camera all these things are now in the iPhone 10 it comes at a price but I have to say I've had iPhones and Androids forever and ever and ever I'm kind of an Apple guy in one respect and an Android guy in, in another, another respect yeah. if you're an Apple person you're gonna think this is the best thing Apple's ever done <laughs> and you'd be right okay. Okay. So, so really quick I mean this is in the iPhone X seems great but can we fix what's going on with the iPhone 7s, the iPhones we already have? <laughs> yeah. What is up with this I going it, into an autocorrect with an A question It's mark? funny you mention the eyes have it because the <laughs> eyes don't have it. A lot of people, I know you two have yes, had yes. it, right, have an issue with your eyes. There's only one, Apple will have to fix this, and, and I hope they will. It's a software glitch, okay. but if you go into general, okay. keyboard, right, and you go to text replacement, and you take the phrase I and you replace it with an I, I know this sounds crazy, yeah. then it will auto-correct to I and do it with uppercase and do it with lowercase I's in your text replacement zone of your yeah, settings. Right. And although that's the worst workaround ever, it is a workaround, then you won't have to deal with what you're showing on showing the screen, it. which is horrifying. Well, can I tell you something? Shelly just made us do it during the commercial break, so it's very easy. So just go into your general settings, yeah. go to your keyboard, force it to make an I, and change it to an I, and you will be done with that That's little glitch. Yes. Shelly, thank you. You're the hey, best. Hey, it worked. Uh, right. The eyes have it. The I eyes guess. have it. Yes, they do. They do. <laughs> Shelly Farmer, the best. We all thank right. you for all your information.